Okay, it's another sunny, dry, mild day in Rochester, New York, and today I'm going to do a scripture and tract distribution in the city of Rochester. I got five uh, King James scriptures of truth to give out today in a, an assortment of three different uh, Chick Gospel tracts, Creator or Liar, The Greatest Story Ever Told, and The Word Became Flesh. I'll give you something to read about the scriptures today. Gospel material for you to read today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can I give you something to read about the gospel, sir? Something to read about the something to read about the gospel today? Thank you. You got a I got free Bibles too if you need one. No, that's all right because I'm not going to read it. You okay, it's I mean? okay. I got them for free if right. I'm trying to uh, spread the word and the good news and God it's bless, not too man. late yet. God bless, man. All right. God, God bless man. you too. Okay, I got the uh, gospel, free gospel tracks. I got man, free Bibles I'm man. giving out. Nah, you need, you need Jesus Christ more than you need a couple of dollars. Then he'll supply your needs. Something to read about the, the gospel today, sir? Thank you. Thank you. you need a, I got free uh, Bibles I'm giving out, too, if you need one. Are they King James? King first? James. I can't read that one. Oh, okay. I like the simpler but, one. Okay, but I'm just going to... This is just I got, a... I got one out. All right, well, good. I'm just going to say this. Stay with the King James. Because Jesus said, except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. It's got to be the Spirit of God that guides you into it. But the King James is God's Word. So, okay. all right. God bless you. Something to read about the gospel today, sir? I'm Muslim, brother. Praise the Lord. I'm Muslim. Okay, well, you need to be born again. You need to be born again. I've already been born again. Already been born again. That's what the Lord Jesus said, except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Uh, guess what? You, I'm going to tell you this all right now. All you Muslims, Muslims aren't going to go to heaven because it's not the truth of God. You need the truth of Jesus Christ. Didn't somebody ever tell you that? Well, the preacher's here to tell you that tonight. Uh, Muslims aren't going to heaven along with all other false religions. Muhammad's not going to be in the kingdom of God. He was a false prophet. What, what's that, ma'am? He said, could a Muslim go into heaven? Who? Who go into heaven? Somebody that's born again. Oh. Do you know, do you need a free Bible? I give it for free. Yeah. And in here is a, a story book about Jesus Christ and how he came into this world to save sinners yeah. and he's the true God he's the true and living God and he'll save any all people that believe on him yes yes thank you all right God bless you you too okay folks I got the truth of the Word of God today Truth of the Word of God, giving it out freely. It's been given, and freely I'm. Do you need a gospel? Yeah. You want a free Bible? Yeah. There you go. Thanks. All right. Your yeah, name, you put sir. your name in there. Make sure you put your name in there the day you received it, mm -hmm. and start reading it. All right. Because that's how I got saved. You know, I mean, there was other uh, situations that happened to me, but part of the reason I got saved was because I started reading that and I started right from the beginning and then I realized I was born in a, like a Catholic family and it wasn't too long after I started reading the scriptures that I realized hey I haven't been uh, raised in the right way so you read that and God will show you what the truth is uh, I will. all right God bless you Okay, I got free scriptures to give out, gospel tracts to give out. Anybody need a free copy of the King James scriptures and a storybook about the Lord Jesus Christ? It's pointed unto men once to die, but after this comes the judgment. The Lord is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. 
The will of God for all men everywhere is that they will repent and believe the gospel. But I'm here giving out the truth. I'm giving out the truth, the truth of the Word of God. I got a free King James Scriptures to give somebody because this is the Word of God. You want to know about God? You need a free Bible, sir? You sp uh, Spanish? Yeah. Oh, I don't have any Spanish right now. I'm good. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right. The simple gospel. The Word became flesh. The Word became flesh. Jesus Christ, He became flesh. God Almighty became flesh so that you could be saved. You, you need a Bible? Uh, I got one at the house. All right. Okay, don't leave this earth. And uh, you see, I think the last time I was here, I made mention about the flag being at half mass and that it's still at half mass. You see what I'm saying, folks? That's a constant death, constant death and destruction in the United States of America. Always at half mass. You need life. You need life today, folks. The life of God. And you can read about it in the Holy Scriptures. This is how God saves men by His Word. It says, Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. And I got some uh, free literature to give out today. Creator or liar? The Scriptures will tell you. Was there a Creator or was He a liar? Or were you evolved? Do you know? What do you believe today about that? What do you believe about how you got here on this earth? Do you, do you believe that God created or do you believe that you evolved? Because that'll make a big difference in what you believe about God. Okay, stop putting it off, folks. Okay? The world that we know, I mean, we're coming closer to what they call Christmas and yet people aren't really concerned about Christ. Why is that? I don't, you know, it, that's a phenomena. The world celebrates Christmas, but all the world's not interested in Jesus the Christ. But that's who I glorify and that's who I magnify. I got the words of life here, you know. More than 28 years ago, I got life. I got eternal life. And you know how it happens? Similar to this, somebody gave me a copy of the scriptures. Somebody uh, gave me sort of like a, a booklet like this. And I started reading it. And there was other circumstances involved in it. But for the most part, the Word of God was working in my heart and showed me that I wasn't saved, that I didn't have the truth. You need a scriptures, ma'am? You need a copy of the Bible? You need a, just uh, something to read about the gospel so you can get saved? All right. And God doesn't force anybody to be saved. It says that He added to the church such as to be saved. So that's what God does. He adds to the church, but He doesn't force anybody. Doesn't force anybody. All He does, He's got the good news. You know, that's what Peter said when, uh, when uh, Jesus told him, uh, Are you going to leave? Are you going to leave me also? And he said, where are we going to go? Lord, you have the words of truth. You have the words of life. That's what I have here today. The words of life. Jesus Christ shed his own blood. Do you have a Bible you need, ma'am? I'm giving out free Bibles. Yeah, if I you... need one more. Okay, there you go. Thank you, sir. You have and, a great day. Uh, all right. And, uh, and I'm going to be out here next uh, Monday also. I'm going to be out here next Monday also, so if you, I'm going to, if, if you're in distance of my ears and you want to come back next Monday, I'm going to be out here passing out scriptures again. All right, God bless. I got some scriptures to, booklets to pass out today, how the Word became flesh, Jesus Christ became flesh. He was not just a... a a baby in a manger or some good man or philosopher he was God in the flesh and he came here to die for your sins he came here to shed his blood for your sins God bless you and he shed his own blood that's how
God so loved the world, He gave Him self a ransom for many so that all could be saved and today what is the world they're they're strung out on drugs they're strung out on alcohol the, everybody's in recovery hey you need to be recovered all right today but you need to be recovered out of the snare of the devil you need to recover yourselves out of the snare of the devil you know what a you know what a snare is today a snare is a trap a snare is something that hunters use to, to, to trick an animal. That's what the devil does for you. He tries to trick you. You need to recover yourselves out of the snare of the devil. And why would not this season you get right with God and repent and call upon the name of the Lord that you might be saved and trust in the living God, Jesus Christ. Hey. Are you, how's it been going? All right. Good. How you been? Yep, Ryan. Oh, I'm sorry. Your last name's Ryan. Hey, I did pretty good. But no, I got your email. Stay in touch with me. I didn't really plan on coming down today, though, because I had some appointments, and uh, one of them they canceled. So I, as I had off for work, and as good as... Uh, the day is and i'm coming out next monday yeah i, I already yep. you know yeah, I explained you. to you yep. where, so, where is it again you're going here yeah for right monday here? yeah next monday i'm gonna give some scriptures out and i'm just gonna pass out this stuff here is that christmas eve yep it's christmas eve and i'm probably gonna say about i don't know about 11 o'clock maybe okay. 11 a.m so if you're yeah, if you are you down here every day or well, no i see i live in hamlin okay that's so what i thought it's difficult for me to get oh down no there. that's okay i mean but i'm just saying keep in touch because oh, we can absolutely. get together you got my information how to get the gospel tracks and stuff and um, have you heard about that church over by city hall no Okay, well, there's a church over there marrying, marrying homosexuals. Oh, okay, wow, yeah. They claim to be Christian. Yeah, so that's a church that needs to be preached in that's front of. That's the one I, I need to go to. We need to go okay, there. Okay, all right, now. well, when we get together, we'll make a time to do that. Yeah, I think We'll so. sit on the sidewalk and rebuke it, because there's other things like that going on in the city that the Lord's been dealing with me, too, about in... Um, this whole gay agenda thing yeah not, and it's here know, to stay like, oh, it's you know, now a matter of people getting saved it's not going to go away yeah, so all's, all's, all's we have to worse and worse yep so and all we have to do is we have um, to get stronger yeah. stronger yeah in Christ you know? all right yeah so I'm just going to pass these out if you want yeah, oh I don't need to put you off but next I'm actually starting an MCC next semester okay so I'll be at downtown a lot more often okay well I'll be available more all right because you know, I mostly I do I don't come downtown as often mm -hmm. but if the day's nice you know and I head off or I make some you know I'm making some uh, provision to do that but I don't come down here as much sure but that's okay because that'll be your that'll be your yeah. you're down here you'll be on the buses it'll be your work doing yeah, that absolutely. so god bless so yeah, thanks, man. it was good to meet but, you down yeah, here like, so um, you know but um yeah but anyways um like i said new year's eve or christmas eve i probably won't make it yeah i just want to i'm just going to introduce you on here because i, I want to let people know oh, that you're saved yeah right. this is jason jason ryan That's correct. and uh we met down here a few weeks ago and uh you want to give a brief testimony of you know about yourself and now you want to you know do the street ministry well um i haven't really you know come been led by the spirit to do the street ministry yet but you know it's something that i'm interested in doing but you know i'm learning to try to do things you know according to god's will right as opposed to what i want to do okay you know so um i'm learning i'm trying to learn and pray about um being sensitive and aware to when God's trying to speak to me and know when he's trying to okay. speak to me so that I'm able to And you just be recently aware of what he wants me to do. Right, you recent well you were saved at a, a certain oh. time but then you just recently got baptized because oh. you want to do what's right well, and obey God, right? Kind of that's kind of my situation. Basically okay. what happened is this. I have always believed since probably 12 I did the, the prayer that everybody does and okay. they think that they're saved because of it. 
but um, I haven't been in Obeyer until recently. Okay, God bless. God bless. So, um, and I can't say that I'm perfect even now. Okay. But I try but you're, every day. You're, try, you're living in the will of God, Absolutely. and you're submitting to I'm the trying. will of God. And, I, and when and, uh, I mess up, I go right back right? to him. I and I'm just going to say this. Who's ever going to be watching this, because I'll post this on my YouTube channel. I'm just going to say, pray for Jason, because there's a lot of street preachers that watch. And pray for Jason, that he stays in the will of God, and that... He uh, really wants to come out here and give out uh, gospel tracts to people, and uh, Lord will. And you keep in touch with me, Absolutely. and I'll keep letting you know when we're going out. And you know, you At do as God we'll leads you. Yeah. yeah, as God leads you. Absolutely. All right, Jason. Great, God great bless you. you. Good. All right. You have a great Christmas. You too. All right. Okay, so folks, you see, there is people all around this city and in God's kingdom that believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and. Uh, desire to be in the will of God and God desires for you to be in the will of God and you know the first step to being in the will of God the first step to being in the will of God is to repent of your sin and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and call upon his name that's the first step that all men have to take to come to God and then when a man after a man gets saved then God says that he will work out his own salvation day by day and renew his mind but this is where it starts it starts with repentance it starts with it starts with a repent of heart and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ give you something to read about the gospel man God bless you. God bless you you know folks I got all kinds of scriptures I gotta tell you right now oh I got a, a testimony here by a name, guy named from Unshackled, a guy named Jovan Willis. He's dead and gone now, but this man was a homosexual that got saved, and this is his story. This is his story, how he turned to the living God from being a homosexual to being a straight man living for the righteousness of God, and he ended up dying of AIDS, but before he died, he repented and believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's in heaven with God now because he repented. I got, I got a good testimony and story that you could read about that. Give you something to read about the gospel today, ma'am. God bless you. Yeah, and see, the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. See, that's the, I earlier was talking about Muslims. Muslims aren't going to heaven. You know why? Because they don't believe that God had a son. But it says the word became flesh. That's why the Jehovah Witnesses aren't going to... They're not going to enter the kingdom that they think they're working towards. Because they don't be believe that the word became flesh. You need something to read today about the gospel? I know, bud. Okay. Thank you. Yep. All right. Something to read about the gospel today, man? In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. Have another one. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah, I have three different ones. You want all three? One, the blue one. Blue one? Okay. I think I have a purple one, too. Okay. Would and you like to read a story about a homosexual man that got saved and came to the Lord and turned from yes, his homosexuality? I would. Yes, I would. All right. God bless you. Uh, that's good, folks. Receptive people to the gospel. You know, I go out and I preach at different events, and uh, I really sometimes get in people's faces and I rebuke, but today, this is a, a neutral day. People are going to and fro in their daily business, going to work, get something to read about the gospel today. Okay. All right. Well, God bless you. You got your... You got that sword right there. Amen. You're carrying your sword. Amen. Woo! I do the same thing. All right. God bless you, ma'am. God bless you. Thank you. You too. Yeah, it's good to see folks. It's making me get a little charismatic now when I see other people joying in the Lord because they know the, what the, the gift of God is. They know how God made them free from their sins. Yeah, a lot of you are in bondage to sin. A lot of you are in bondage to sin but you need to be made free from the lord jesus christ yes hallelujah for the name of the lord jesus christ and glory to his name he will 
save you from your sins. Woo! Yeah! We're having a revival here on this corner. Yeah! All right. Well, that's what the Lord will do in your heart. All right. God bless you. That's what the Lord will do in your heart. Something to read about the gospel today, sir? Yeah, and that's right. No threatenings today. No, I'm not going to go threatening people and saying you're going to split hell wide open today. I just want to have you have free opportunity for you to voluntarily. There you go, man. God bless you. And you know what? There is people seeking, but it's just sort of like Donald Trump being president. You might, uh, people say, oh, I can't say his name because somebody will jump me in the alley or something like that. But that's how it is with Jesus Christ. People are afraid. They're afraid. Hey, I don't want to let my friends know that I'm talking about Jesus. But anyways, here it is. The gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. The shed blood of Jesus. All right. God bless you. Amen. Amen. And you know what? It's Christmas season, right? I don't particularly believe that Jesus was born on December 25th, but I still honor his birth because a Savior was born into the world. And now that the world celebrates what they call Christmas, I'm going to take advantage of giving people an opportunity. Something to read about the gospel. Greatest story ever told. Greatest story ever told. The Word became flesh. Creator or liar. And, and you know what's good, about, what's good about these booklets right here? They take time that you could go look these Scripture references up and see what the Word of God says about it. God bless you. All right, ma'am. Give you something to read about the gospel today. There you go. God bless you. Yeah, and I'll tell you, when I first got saved, I didn't actually read one of these all the way through because I understand. I, I agree. If you're a lost man, you think, oh, this is propaganda, you know. But I'm telling you, when God started dealing with me about the truth, I, I started reading. I took a, another gospel track. Actually, somebody put one of these under my door in my apartment. Probably because I was shaking the building with my heavy metal music and they said, oh man, that guy, he needs to be saved. I better put this under the door. But guess what? A little few months later, I did get saved. And I'm not, you know, and that person, whoever put that under, I didn't read the exact thing, but on the back page of this, it gave steps on things to look up and somebody else had given me a Bible and I started looking up these steps and then I seen what God was saying about my sin and I called upon him to get saved. So I hope that's going to be true for you. Put down the marijuana because I could smell it. Put it down and uh, pick up the Bible because marijuana will just give you a false, a false high. It'll give you a false sense of feeling good. But then when you're done, you're not going to feel good. You're going to have depression. You're going to have different things. You need the righteousness of Jesus Christ today. God bless you. That's right. And uh, it's as simple as calling upon the, it's fine. You want to see? And now we even got a little mini. You want to repent? Okay, well, do you know what repentance means? Right, and you need to believe on the source of that repentance. I mean, I could I could pray with you if you want, but one of the first things I could tell you that God, if you want to prove your sincerity for God, you got to put your cigarettes. Okay, now I don't usually lead people in prayer because they have to really mean it in their heart. But if you really believe that you're a sinner and you and you want Jesus Christ, I'll pray with you. I'll. You don't want to? Okay, well, you see that booklet I gave you? Yeah. Remember I told you I went, read. You could go look yeah, up the scripture. Right, you could go into your home tonight. You go, wait till you're home. Oh, you, okay, well, don't you, you're just homeless. You don't, you don't even like have. I know, but it, even at night, you don't have a place where you go. Okay, well, I'll, I'm going to pray for you for that right now. What was your name? 
Okay, Barb, uh, we just call upon you, Jesus Christ, and we pray, Lord, that you help Barb to find a home and get uh, in a place of safety in her life and tonight. And as she desires to call upon the name of the Lord, we pray that uh, she might take time today when she's all alone and thinking about it and, and call upon your name and repent of her sin. And we know, Lord, that you will save her when she asks for that. And we just pray for her physical welfare that you help her, Lord, get on her feet. In Jesus' name, amen. And just then, I don't know if you, but the Open Door Mission will house people. Okay, well, they do have a new one down uh, in... Uh, gates about like that they have like a house for women and children i don't know if you would qualify there and you can also go to the salvation army and they could help you uh find a place no i i don't know i don't really know that but you could still go to the open door mission and at least ask them if they have a name of a place that you could go okay all right, Barb. Well, but you, well, you, if you want to call upon the name of the Lord, you go home and you can do that today. If you mean it in your heart and you believe that Jesus died for your sins and shed his blood and you want to repent of your sins, then that's all you have to do. He says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And I gave you these too, right? So my email address is on the back. If you get saved, you could contact me. My name's Kevin. All right, Barb, I'm going to put you on my prayer list okay give you some read today sir did i give you something to read today sir okay folks i mean the lord jesus christ the lord jesus christ died for your sins he shed his own blood you know in just a a few minutes i'm leaving here today because I really believe that the moving of the Spirit worked here today. And I've given every, people opportunity. I'm going to be out here next uh, Monday. I'll tell you what. Now, are you out here every day? Are you out here every day? Almost. All right. Well, I'm coming out here next Monday. I don't know if I'm going to be here, though. You got okay. Or no, I don't have any money on me. And I don't give out no. cash. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to go to Subway and I'm going to buy a $10 gift, I'm going to buy a $10 um, gift card and I'm going to have it on me. I'm coming here at Monday, I'm going to be here at 11 o'clock, Lord willing, if I wasn't here it's because some emergency happened, but I'm going to, if you meet me here, yep, I'm coming down here to pass out Bibles, if you, if you're out here Monday, at 11 o'clock, I'm going to give you that $10. And there's a subway right around the corner down there. And you could have a, you could at least have a meal on me. How's that? All right. God bless you. It was so, it was, it was a joy to meet you. All right. All right. I hope I see you here. I hope I see you here. Okay, you make sure you're going to take that with you, right? You're not going to yeah, leave it on the ground. Yeah, but why are you going to leave it? They ground about all over the world. People pick them up in the All right, I'll tell you what. That's going to be fruit to your account. You did that. All right, all right. God bless you. All right, you passed. That's the one you gave out today. We'll see where it goes in eternity. The Word became flesh. Hallelujah.